Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we'll be creating a new file share using Server Manager Console in Windows Server 2019. First of all, we need to open Server Manager Console, and for that, I'm going to click on Start button, and let's click on Server Manager. On left hand side, you can see File and Storage Services listed under Server Manager. If you don't see File and Storage Services, that time you need to add that a server rule. For that, you need to click on Add Rows and Features, click on Next, Next again, Next again, and here under File and Storage Services, expand File and iSCSI Services and select a File Server Server Rule. And after that, you are able to see File and Storage Services here. Let's click on it. Here we have a plenty of other options to manage our disk and partitions which we have seen in our lab guide. To create a new file share, we need to click on shares and whatever existing share folder you have on your server will be listed under shares. As you can see, we have a total three share folders. Two share folders are there, netlogon and syswell because this server is a domain controller. And we have a one share folder with the name practice, which we have created in last lab guide. To create a new share folder, we need to click on a task and select a new share, which is going to start a wizard to create a new share. Here we have a several file share profile. From this list of profiles, you can select any. But for our general file sharing, we need to use SMB share quick profile. Click on next. Here our server is listed, server 2019. Now suppose if you want to share your entire partition, a volume, that time you can select it from here. And that we are not going to do. Let's select type a custom path, click on browse. And we have only one volume on our server and that is our C drive. See, it is not a best practice to create a folder share on a system drive. But this is a test environment and that will be fine. Let's click on new folder to create a new folder. Here I am creating one folder with the name of Fielding Drill. Let's select the folder. So our custom path is C colon slash Fielding Drill. Click on next. This is going to be the share name. If you want to assign a different share name, that time you have to specify new name here. Here you can specify the description of your share folder. This is going to be the our local path and this is going to be the remote path. By using this path, user can access the share folder. Click on next. Here certain other options are there. For example, enable access based enumeration is there. That means if the user have a read or equivalent permission, then and after then user can see this share folder. If they don't have a permission, at least read permission, then they are not able to see this share folder. Here I'm also going to clear the checkbox, allow catching of a share. We don't want that user can offline access this share folder. Click on next. From this console, you can customize the permission. If you want to customize NTFS permission, that time you need to click on customize permission. In the last lab guide, when we have created a shared folder using file explorer, that time we have a two options to set up the permission. One at a sharing level and the second one is NTFS level. Here, as you can see by default shared permission is everyone full control. So you don't have to worry about the shared permission. You just have to specify the NTFS permission. Let's click on customize permission. Actually, we are not going to customize permission because users entry are already there. And by default, all the Active Directory users are member of this users group. And they have a special permission to create files and folders under this share folder. Click on close, click on OK and click on next. Click on create. Let's click on close to close this wizard. And now you can see we have a one folder with the name filling drill. And this is our share folder. Let's access the share folder on our Windows 10 client computer. On a Windows 10 client computer, let's log in with the credential of our domain user Jroot. To access the share folder, I'm going to press Windows R key, double slash, then the name of our server, which is server 2019. Here we can see our share folder is there, fielding drill. Let's open it. And here I'm going to create new folder. As you can see, our domain user Jroot is successfully able to create folder under that share folder. So in this lab guide, we have learned 
how to create a new file share using server manager console in windows server 2019